Do not be afraid. Hallelujah. Do not be afraid. The only open door for the enemy is fear. Fear. The Bible said that fear is a torment. When fear comes into your life, it becomes a torment. It torments you. Fear will make you begin to fight your friend and accommodate your enemy because of fear. Fear will make you to raise your blood pressure. Fear. Fear. God did not call us unto fear. God called us unto faith. Let your faith be strong in the Lord. Not in anybody, not in anything, but in the Lord. Knowing that God is with you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There are three persons here listening to me now that need to encourage their heart. You need to have the mind of Christ. Allow this mind to be in you. Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind. I want you sometimes stay aback and think about the word of God. What did God say about you? What did God say about you? If you read the book of Luke chapter 2, going down to 74, you will begin to understand. He said he has promised that we will serve him Without fear, God has promised that he has called us that we may serve him without fear. Glory to God. He has called you to serve him without fear. Stop being afraid. Don't be afraid of objects and matters and People that terrifies you. That's the only way the enemy can come in by opening doors of fear. You are so much afraid of rats and roaches. And um, when things cross your house, you will not sleep. When bed flew over your house, you will not be sleeping anymore. When you see some things around you, you will not be sleeping anymore. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know, you need to understand. Many people, many people have threatened me. Threatened me. I'm telling you. They are going to kill me. They are going to do this. They are going to use voodoo. They are going to use that. I laugh. I laugh because when people begin, when a man Enter into a place where he does not understand. Enter into the room of Satan and get confused and get mad and don't know what to do. God will send me to go and deliver that person. We pray and make him and deliver him so that he will serve the Lord many, many, many times. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Because they are what they are doing, they don't understand. They don't know. That is a way of Satan trying to trap people in a place where they will be confused. But I want you to know that every threat, people threatening your life, has zero result in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. They can speak. The Bible said they will gather, but they will be scattered in pieces. They will speak a word, but that word will not come to pass. They will display some Things that will make you think that they have any power. They do not. 
The reason is because no weapon, no weapon, anything that is called weapon, that is formed and say this one is for sister B, this one is for brother Z. The Bible says that those weapons, because they have fashioned it for you, will not work. Glory to God. And we're going to give God the glory. Because we serve the living God. We serve the powerful God. We serve the chief of all spirits. Chief of all spirits. Chief of all spirits. Stop allowing the elemental witches. Those who have nothing. They are the level. In fact, those compound and elemental witches are in level 111. They have not even started. These are the ones we match. We call them serpents and scorpions. They are in the level of scorpions. You march on them. You, you, squ you squash them. They cannot operate. You, they cannot operate. So stop being afraid. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to shout hallelujah wherever you are. Because God, God has risen this morning to save you and to show you that he is God. Amen. Let's sing that song again. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Oh, come to the Father, to Jesus, his Son, and give him the glory. Great things he has done. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let the people rejoice. Who come to the Father through Jesus, his Son. And give him the glory, great things he has done. The scripture says in Psalm 101, glory to God. Today is our 101 days of our 150 days. Amen. Of fasting and prayer. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 From 6 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to worship the King for giving us this enormous energy. Mm, enormous strength. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Yes. To be able to stay. In his presence. The Bible says in Psalm 101. I will sing of the mercies and judgment unto thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. When will you come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before my eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside and shall not cleave to me. A forward heart shall depart from me. I will not know 
a wicked person who's privately slandered his neighbor. Him will I cut off. Him that an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. My eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land that they may dwell with me. He that walketh it in a perfect way he shall serve me. He that walketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know this morning the measure at which the Lord has taken God has taken this measure because he wants you to stay better I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way I will say no wicked thing before my eyes. We're going to pray. Setting wicked things before your eyes. You know that your eyes is a gate. Glory to God. Your eyes is a gate that will decide how far you carry the presence of God. Your eyes. The scripture says, I will not set my eyes on wicked things. What are the wicked things? Those things that the Lord says it is wicked. Wickedness are the abomination that the Lord says do not. Do not set your eyes in an unclean things. One of those are watching pornography. Watching pornography. Glory to God. It's an open gate for the enemy to continually stop you from entering into the jurisdiction, into the legal team, into becoming a magistrate of God, those who goes to the meeting when we gather in the presence of God. Hallelujah. You know, some of us would think that we are waiting to go to heaven. We are already in heaven. When you are in the kingdom of God, you should be operating on that level. But there are things that brings you down. That's why it's all over the place. Even when you don't want to watch such things, it might pop up as, as an ad. You're trying to click on something, it will pop up and refuse to go. But your job is not to set your eyes on wicked things. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. So God says, the scripture says, the psalmist says, I will not set my eyes. We're going to pray for our eyes. That your eyes will not behold wickedness. Will not enjoy what the scripture called wickedness. Things that are not in order of God. You put your eyes there. When your eyes is there and it is full, then the, the hunger and the appetite ready for sin will be available. 
Glory to God. Will be available, readily available. And you'll be struggling. You'll be struggling. Hallelujah. That's why the scripture says we should not lay the foundation of repentance. I want you to pray right now. Ask God, help my eyes. Help me with my eyes. That my eyes will not be a gateway of destruction to my life. A gateway of hindrance. A gateway of not progressing in the confidence of God. The Bible says, do not, do not destroy your confidence. These are the things that destroy confidence in the presence of God. Yeah, we're not, we're not, long, we're not just talking about faith. Your confidence. There are confidence that allows you to come into the presence of God free. But you come inside, instead of worshiping, you're thinking about all the things you have committed. Even when God says, I've forgotten it, you will break it up because it is always, the scripture says, my sin is always before me. It doesn't run away. But hey, when you pray, ask God to guide my eyes. Open your mouth right now. Say, Lord, guide my eyes. Your eyes is not just the physical one on your head. Your eyes is also your heart. When your eyes see, your heart perceive. When your heart begins to perceive, heart is the main eyes. When you perceive, it stays there. That's why somebody will offend you 30 years ago. You still have it. Hallelujah. There are some of the things you see. You read. You read in the book. When you go to an exam, they ask you that, you forget. Why? Because your heart has not perceived that. But the action that somebody took 30 years ago has created very dangerous eyes in your heart. And you cannot forget. Anytime you see someone that looks like that, you will remember everything that have been done to you. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, change my eyes to better. Let me see the glory. Let me not see wickedness anymore. Let wickedness go away from me. I will see the glory of God. Change my eyes. Change my eyes. Meaning that I will begin to rethink of how I perceive things. It is only coming from the Holy Spirit. Open your mouth. The way I see people. I will no longer see people like trees. I want you to open your mouth. Bashalaba. Rapa tekia. My eyes will change. My eyes will see clearly. My eyes will see the glory of God. My eyes. Don't let my eyes set on wickedness, but let it set on wisdom. Let it set on holiness. Let it set on righteousness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Baserabatuka. If you meditate the way, if you meditate on the word of God, the way you have meditated on people that wicked you, people that have wanted to destroy you, people that have set you to fail and you never fail. <laughs> I want you to know that that heart is being squashed today. The eyes that set his eyes on wickedness is being destroyed. Let God Change your eyes. Change your eyes. Your eyes of perception. How you perceive people. How you treat people. How you look at people. The, the way you look at people like trees. That you will actually look at them as human beings. You will pity for them. The Bible says Jesus knew what is a man. And refused to commit himself to them. He, he saw men walking around like sheep. Without a shepherd, they have no leading. Who is the leader? They, they do not have the Holy Spirit, the leader, leading, leading you into all the truth. That's why you must pity people. I want you to open your mouth this morning. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Decree, my eyes must be changed. My eyes must be changed. My eyes must be changed. Open your mouth. My eyes must be changed. Change my eyes that I may no longer set my eyes on wickedness. On wickedness. Those people that you're planning that have dealt with you, when you will get the chance, you will pay back. I want you to pray right now and say, Lord, change my eyes. Change my eyes of perception. Change my eyes that I may see good, that I may see wisdom, that I may see joy, that I may see righteousness. Remove every wickedness.
before my eyes. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Marcele Gabia Torobo. Remember us. My us. A forward heart shall depart from me. Verse 4 said. I will not know a wicked person. Glory to God. I will not know. Wicked person which shall no longer be my knowledge. They shall not be my bosom friend. Wicked. You know people that are wicked? Glory to God. People that are wicked and they tell you some stories and you entertain it. They tell you, oh, how I sleep with this man. Oh my God, that man is so good. How I drink this wine is so good. You see that party, when we went there, it was wonderful. And you know that this person is not a child of God. You sit and laugh and smile, supporting wickedness. I want you to open your mouth. Say, wickedness, I shall not know. I shall not know wicked person. I shall not know. In fact, when they see me, they will be very uncomfortable. When I walk in, they will be so uncomfortable because I will disagree with everything, every single thing they are doing. We will disagree. Why? Because we don't operate with the same spirit. I want you to open your mouth. Open your mouth. I shall not know any wicked person. I shall not be my friend. The knowledge of wicked person is knowing that person that is wicked and you keep quiet. You support that person. The person should not be comfortable with you. When they are wicked, they can never be comfortable because light and darkness cannot work together. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. There is an anointing that when God gives you, the wicked person shall not be comfortable when you come around. Yes. Yes. Even as a child. Glory to God. Open your mouth. Decree and declare. In the name of Jesus Christ. I shall not know a wicked person. I, I refuse to know wickedness. I refuse to know a wicked person. In the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse. Ma sale koborotea. Rapa te kuko tele jekea. Rapa te kuku jeku katuamaka. Rapa te kuze kutelika. Jenta raba kusentiabota. Riba anke fenodo likaba. I reject. I refuse to know a wicked person. Yet a lababa coprinaya. Rabbe di gabosa. Yeri babosa. Yes. Will I tell them about Jesus? Yes. Will I preach to them? Yes. Will I discuss about God with them? Yes. But I shall not know them. They cannot be my bosom friend. Aye korobo shaleka. Rapate kelapa. Ropoto korobo. Zapareka takatala. Jete prakatolaka. Van de rebobosa. Ye korobo bobos. Rebobobobobos. A forward heart shall depart from me. Forward heart. Forward. People that are twisted. Their heart is twisted. In the name of Jesus, they shall not locate you. Open your mouth. I reject forward heart. I reject forward heart. I reject forward heart. I reject heart of deception. I reject twisted heart. I reject them. I reject a wrinkled heart. Masa te kulaba. Remember the righteousness of God is no wrinkled. Ye koraba sekebo. Jeleba tinkobo zaramatiaka. Brame ventolobos. Riba bobo ye kerebo salibataya. Zamdeli korima bangrobaya. Velu vaiva vorima vedunka va sangrimaya. Yenro shalibos. Open your mouth. I shall not know a forward person. A forward heart shall depart from me. Command every forward heart. Those men whose heart are deceptive. Those men whose heart are deceptive. Those men, those women whose heart are deceptive. 
They will be smiling for you, but inside their heart, they are bleeding with wickedness. They are waiting for a chance to strike you. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, they cannot find me. They cannot find me. If they are around me this morning, I command them to depart. I command them to break away. I command them to depart. I command them to break away. I command them to cease to fronting themselves around me in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Those who are waiting for the chance to strike you. Those who are waiting for the chance to show you for no reason. You know, people will sit down and begin to plan against you without, you know, without your knowledge. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they saw you on Facebook with one cloth. Maybe the cloth you just somebody even gave you. It's not yours. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody pity for you and buy you a nice gift and say, this is my gift. And you put it on and they get very upset. They begin to plan for you. They begin to devise means. They begin to chase you down. Coming as a friend. But hey, in their hearts, they are already prepared to hurt you. They will not find you. Amen. They will break in pieces. In the name of Jesus. They will not find you Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. 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 Belly Prano. He said, Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that had an high look and a proud heart will I not suffer. Will I not suffer to come into my presence? Proud heart. The one that slandered it. That's why I said to you, in this hour, long time fasting. Glory to God. Cease from slandering your neighbor. Don't let the devil catch you with that. I know you like to talk. I know you have all ears to hear what people are doing. So that you can cheer yourself up. I want you to pray. Right now, that every slanderer, those that come around you, and they will, they will slander people. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. They will pieces people. They will bring people before you and cut them like meat. Mm. And cut them in pieces. They will instigate you to hate who have not done anything to you. Jesus. They will make you fight who have you, whom you have never seen before. You will see the person and you'll be looking. When he sees you, he will just kick you and point. That's the person I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. Already you created a picture, an enemy in your heart. You don't even have the chance to discuss with the person and find out if these are the works of Satan. When Satan anoints people's tongue, what they do only is to slander people. They slander people because they are control freak. If they cannot control you, the only way to do is to slander you. Is to make you look so horrible. Is to make you... The Bible says they use anger to control people. So when they come around you, you will join their, 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 their league. By slandering people and making them look horrible. You have never seen the person. You have never interacted with the person. No communication. No business deal. Nothing whatsoever, but you hate that person. Why? Because somebody said, I want you to pray right now. Let God remove every slanderer around you. Amen. Slanderer. Don't let them come near you this period. Even after this, they will run and fizzle away and disappear. No slanderer. No evil speaking people. There are people that their job is to organize people and tell them about people. Destroy people's character. Like when when the person come out, you'll be wondering how is he still alive? Because he's this wicked. The person you are talking to has never done anything wrong to you. Open your mouth. Open your mouth and decree and decree. Decree and decree. Declare and decree. God, remove every slanderer from me. Do not allow them to find me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Kick them away. 
I don't care if they are like your eyes. Let them stay far away from you. Let them stop calling you. Stop picking the calls. Become busy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Whenever they come around to speak evil, become so busy. Or tell them to pray. I only have one result. I only have one solution. You call me for people, we're going to pray for that person. Two hours of prayer, you will run. Hallelujah. They won't like it. If you do it one time, two times, three times, they will stop calling. They will stop coming to your house. When you finish praying, you'll be writing all the things that the person did. He said he did. Now we're going to pray for that person. When you begin to pray for two hours, three hours, after that, do it again and again. The person will, long, will run away. Say, I don't want to go to that man. Because when you tell him about this, evil this, evil that, before you leave his house, you pray at least two hours. I want you to open your mouth. Decree this morning. Oh Lord, remove every slanderer. Remove slanderer from me. Lord, I want my tongue to be holy. My tongue shall speak no evil. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No evil speaking. No evil speaking. No evil speaking. No evil speaking. I reject every slanderer. I reject slanderers. I command slanderers away from me. 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 My tongue shall be holy. My mouth shall be holy. The same mouth I will use to tell God, Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit is on the truth. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I know you came from heaven above. The Holy Spirit. He's on the throne. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. I will enter his gate with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. I will say this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. I say he has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. The same mouth. When you finish, you will begin to slander people. It does not work that way. The Lord is saying tonight, I'm oh, sorry, this morning, hey, slander us. A word from me. I want you to pray that prayer again. Slander us. Because they are the major issue. They are the ones that bring you down from heaven. We are already in heaven. The Bible says, I seated with Christ in heavenly places. He said, Christ in me, the hope of glory. Where do Christ live? In heaven. He lives in me. I want you to pray right now. Those that are easily bring you down from heaven with slandering tongues. Let them be away from you. Gossiping tongues. Let them be away from you. Speaking evil. Let them be away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to God. Amen. The only permission you have is to gossip with the name of Jesus. Amen. When you enter there, tell them what Jesus has done. Hallelujah. Tell them who Jesus is. Tell them what the Lord has done in your life. Tell them the testimony of his grace and miracle and power. Samalikea, Jem Terebos, on Falite Marica, Diaporote, Zamprele Kedoros, Rebe Degida Gudorosa, 
Jean de Liqueros on Prana San Zeta in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ask God to change your tongue right now. God has changed your eyes. It's time to change your tongue. Let God change my tongue. Let God change my tongue. Because even your tongue has speaking against you. Not only evil against people. You start turning against you. Yes. Begin to speak what God did not speak. I'm about to die. I'm about to. I'm about to. I'm about to. Open your mouth and say, Lord, change my tongue. Change my tongue. That my confession will be different from this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Just wave your hand and say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for changing my tongue. I thank you for changing my eyes. I thank you, Lord, for resetting my mind. Yes, let this mind be in you. Resetting my mind. My mind has been in an, in a, in an abased situation. Right now, it's rising. Rising up in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to put your hand on your head. If you're sick or weak. If you're sick or weak, if you're sick or weak, the power of God is going to touch you and heal you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I decree this morning, healing, healing upon your people, healing, healing to everyone that is sick under the sound of my voice, everyone that is weak under the sound of my voice, I command you to receive healing now in the name of Jesus Christ from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing. Receive healing in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. And I pray this morning that the Lord will protect you, guide you from every evil. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ, going out and coming in. I cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ, driving. No man shall hit you, you shall hit no person. Cover your house, no fire incident, no car accident, no house accident, no office accident. I cover you. No gone men or gone women shall locate you or your children. Cover you with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover your entire house. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Every witchcraft oppression shall not touch you. The arrows that fly it by the day, the arrows that fly it by the night, they shall not touch you. Thank you, precious Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Let the church shout Amen. amen. Let the church shout, Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God bless you.